always always part of it. Uh, uh, you can actually break it down. You can break down the names they even give to things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to understand them. Uh, they say that we speak our reality into existence. Yeah. And, and in fact, we're speaking their reality into existence. Um, bunny rabbit, uh, if you just take the spoken word and forget how it's really spelled, but it's B, and then you have U-N mm-hmm. for one in French. Okay. And then mm-hmm. you have Y, you see? You'll, you'll find the Y crops up all through masonry and higher masonry. Yeah. Because it's the male chromosome. The Y chromosome, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, I remember and that. And we know that that eventually they want to create a, a perfected man. Um, and they really want to ultimately do away with the female altogether as being irrelevant in a, a system to come in the future. Hmm. They've hmm. worked on that. That's the whole push towards uh, genetics uh, in one direction only, and that's to perfect man. Yeah. Not for man's sake, but for to man to be a better slave. So Y is a representation of the male, hmm. always. Hmm. Will be one why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, also, of course, we can. I guess we could uh, <clears throat> tie this back to the stage uh, stage magician pr- pulling a bunny out of a of the rabbit, right? Of the hat. <laughs> yeah, of that. Yeah, of course. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's right there apparently, and and um, regarding I guess May the May Day again. Um, do you know if this actually is the 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 birthday, so to speak, of the of the Illuminati, 1776. It, it, it seems to be, uh, uh, yeah. They, they put that down as that. There's no doubt they picked that day to coincide with that which they already believed in. Yeah. They they picked that day to to match the the, the religion they already followed. Hmm. They were basically bringing it out into the open for the first time. Um. May, of course, is the is the fifth uh, the fifth month of of our year, and and again, I guess, as you say, this is re- regeneration, and and uh, the fir- first. I don't know if May is considered the first uh, summer month, or f- I guess it's the first spring month. I guess. Yes, and it also depends on whose calendar you go by. Yeah, sure, indeed. Yeah. You you see, in in, in the, the old Roman Empire, uh, pre-Christian, their year would start in March. Mm-hmm. And so, you, you had, you, it may was the Trinity, the first part of the Trinity in hmm. the old religion. Okay. And uh, now, nowadays they have the five-pointed star to represent uh, Freemasonry, and so it, it's the fifth month. Fifth month, yeah, of course. Um, and I don't know if, if uh, what's your take, what your take on this is, but um, I get the sense that the, the United States, as as a whole, kind of is something that is encompassing the female or, or you know it's like the manifestation of 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 a goddess considering i guess the the statue of liberty and all of this going into that is is this uh, something you you you, you uh, would agree on the, the statue of liberty is neither male nor female hmm it's a hermaphrodite okay hmm. because if it was a female look at the muscles on it <laughs> yeah i got to check that out i haven't look thought about at the it the thickness though. of the neck Okay, yeah. And uh, uh, you look at the shape of the body, mm-hmm. and then you look at the Oliphant and those guys who designed it and brought it over from France, yeah. who are all high masons, whose symbol often was the hermaphrodite, the perfection of the two into one, hmm. but where logic would ultimately uh, rule over the, over the emotion. Yeah, yeah. And you'll find um, uh, the symbol of the sun in different times has taken a more male form or a female form. When the capital of the ancient world was in was in the island of Rhodes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in the Mediterranean, the upper Mediterranean, yeah. um, they're, they're, they had, the, they had the, what they called the Colossus. That was a symbol, yeah. and they had a, mm-hmm. a, a naked Apollo overlooking the harbor, mm-hmm. just like the one in New York, mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. the crown on his head. It's the crown of thorns of Jesus. It's Thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. The thorns are the rays of the sun coming out. That's what oh. it symbolizes. And the one they had uh, in Rhodes, ancient Rhodes, 
he also had a, held up a torch, meaning he was a light bringer. Yeah. He was Prometheus hmm. as well. Yeah. Who, you know, so uh, this is the old mystery religion coming all, down through all the ages and always appearing at different times. And the public don't even know what they're looking at. Hmm. So but Jesus was the same thing. Yeah. Hmm. Um, the, yeah. yeah, and, and you, you have said that... Uh, 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 in in other, I don't know if it was a blurb I was listening listening to, but um, regarding the the idea that that you know it's the as you say uh, the same the same religion over and over just prepackaged in different I guess new forms new ideas and new new names basically I guess. Yes, it's not the same thing. Yeah. And uh, the, the same thing, even the ancient one of of the Colossus of Rhodes uh, was built with. Uh, thousands of tons of bronze just the same way and copper hmm. uh, this one here for a Christianized era they had to at least give it a clothing <laughs> but if you look at the shape as I say technically it's neither male nor female hmm. it's the hermaphrodite and this is to reflect the the aspects of the of the Sun it, it's part of the Sun hmm. it's also um, it's, it's even deeper than that is to do is to do with the ancient religion which they believe in. Uh, for instance, uh, they believe that you can be a god on earth if you rise high enough. You'll find even in, in, the, in the Christian versions of Christianity, mm -hmm. like the King James in England, or Scotland, England, mm -hmm. uh, they changed, uh, I think it was the 8th Psalm, where it, de it describes man. And it said, and now in Hebrew it says, he was made a little lower than the gods. Hmm. Uh, King James had it changed and put him lower than the angels because he didn't want people believing they were sacred. Oh. He wanted to rule over them. Hmm. <laughs> and so there's an other, another religion hidden within, uh, which is to do with godhood. And it's contained within Christianity too. Yeah, uh, it's also an old Judaism where you 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 see um, uh, Moses and so on uh, meeting um, Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melchizedek, and often statues of Melchizedek are to be found in the higher Freemasonic lodges hmm. because because they gave to Melchizedek the same tribute as you would give to a god. Hmm. And so the, it, there's an esoteric religion to do with gods who walk the earth. Yeah. Um, you know, we, regarding regarding the, the angels, I've, uh, there is an, an order here in uh, in Sweden called, called the Seraphim Order, um, yeah. which, of course, is, is a Hebrew... Um, word for for a particular class of angels, yeah. Um, and as it is now, I think that this order only only foreign people and, of course, Swedish royalty are are allowed within the order. But <coughs> when you actually look at the names associated with the seraphim, it is it is names like you know Lucifer and uh, uh, Astarte, and there there are a number of of others in there. But uh, it, again, it feels like. They're actually attributing this order to the the class of the fallen angels. Oh, absolutely. So I mean, um, that, that's the inner one because the uh, now they say themselves at the higher levels. Now, whether it's for public consumption or if it's the truth, you can, you can always guess. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they say that they believe they're descended from the rebels who were cast here. Mm -hmm, yeah. Sure. And the reason for their inbreeding, supposedly, is because when they were cast here, there were already humans here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but they had, they were, being they were pure spirits, so they had to form the first human bodies for themselves to inhabit, which were perfect. So they willed matter into into shaping bodies for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice fairy tale, you know. Yeah, sure. But but. Uh, they say that when they started to inbreed with the population that was here, they began to lose their special powers, and so they had to go back to keeping genealogies and inbreeding.